All right. <laughs> hey, all you awesome people, welcome back to the game where kind of it all started on this channel here. My name is Sweet Side of Fries, or Kiernan, and today we are playing Project Ozone 3, an excellent mod pack for Minecraft 1.12. Uh, currently it is 2021, yet this is in 1.12. It's going to be a little different, um, and especially it's going to be different because we've never played a mod pack on the channel. Uh, this mod pack has become one of my favorite of all time, and that is because of one person, Ethos Lab. He is my favorite Minecraft YouTuber uh, of all time, and uh, he's kept me in Minecraft for the past couple years when maybe I was having a little less fun with it. He's always found new technical ways to go about the game, and that's awesome. Yeah, uh, this is dedicated to him, basically. Uh, if you want to check it out, his link for his channel is in the description down there. Uh, check him out. I mean, there's so many mods in this. This this mod pack is absolutely huge. We'll never run out of things to do, really. And I figured this would be a great series to do because it's just a new look at a game that we've known on this channel for a long time. So, we're going to get a little technical with it. Um, I mean, here's the worlds I have so far. This one... I started and uh, it wasn't Skyblock, but then I played on Is the Skyblotch for a little bit, and then today I was just testing out. So let's make. Uh oh. Okay, it looks like I loaded up the world I'm currently in, but I mean, this is this is what it looks like. I don't think I mentioned, but it is a Skyblock survival kind of world, and uh, yeah, got a mob grinder, got all kinds of stuff. We will work our way up to this point. This is just a few hours in uh, this world. So uh, let's let's get out of here. Let's start our new world and our new life as Skyblock connoisseurs. I'm gonna make a new world, you silly, and we're gonna call it Sky Bloke Epic. Sky Bloke Epic. And here's the big thing: you have to go into Garden of Glass mode. If you want to play on Skyblock version, I guess that's a thing. I don't know why it's called that, but uh, I'll see you on the other side. Here we go! Oh my god. I'm here. This is the world. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you, can you quiet down there a little bit? Thank you. We got some green grass here. What kind of biome we in? We're in a flower forest. That's actually awesome. Um, that means we can like grow all kinds of flowers, I think, if we bone meal the grass. Um, but here we go. Uh, we got a piece of water, or a source block there. Man, the Minecraft music just kicking in at the beginning. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, you know? Good start. Good start. <laughs> um, I guess these are living roots. These are from the Botania mod. And they give us these these little things, living roots. These are important because you can craft a sapling, I think. There we go. So, sapling. This is the start to trees, of course. Um, so, I'm going to mine out a, a little platform for us here. There's going to be a piece of bedrock at the bottom center of this little block here. We want to build under that, I think. So, this is what we're going to... We're going to start working toward, and we're going to harness this water for all kinds of things, so we don't want to block it up, of course. All right, now, why am I making this series? You know, that's a good that's a good place to start. Um, in the past couple months, if you've been following my channel, I, uh, I released an episode of Sky, or I'm sorry, Server Adventures Season 3. It was going to be the best season of Server Adventures anyone had ever seen. And uh, basically, Server Adventures over the past couple years has been... It's been a project that my friend Matt and I have worked on. Um, where it's kind of... We kind of get into role play. We kind of get into... Um, I don't know. Farms and stuff. Look at this. If you twerk... I guess this is a part of a... Part of a mod. But if you, if you twerk, the tree... Uh, grows. Doesn't get excited, I was gonna say that, but that's kind of weird. What is this? What are you? Light ball? I don't know what you are. But yeah, Server Adventures, 
Matt and I have worked on it for years. I think I have to break this. I'm sorry. Tree, grow. Ha <laughs> ha. And, uh, man, Server Adventures was everything. In, in Season 1, we were like, man, this is the best, like, Minecraft thing uh, since, I don't know, blocked bread. <laughs> that, that was hilarious. Um, so, so, yeah, we loved it. We did a Season 2. It was kind of different, and we did it with my friend... Oh, come on! Come No! Okay. <laughs> what do I do with that? We did Season 2 with Brandon, uh, another one of my good friends from the same school. Okay, we're going to get some new living roots. And that season was a, quite a bit shorter than Season 1, but we loved it. We, we still loved looking back on those episodes, so... We were like, let's make the best season of server adventures ever. Um, and I, I pitched some ideas to Matt, and we kind of got into it. And I recorded three episodes, each one taking, you know, a good couple hours of work. Good good number of hours of work put into them to make them the best server adventures episodes you've ever seen. Uh, this is all vanilla Minecraft, by the way, if you haven't seen any of the series. I released the first one after, you know, a couple months, and the other two uh, episodes had, like, you know, ten people involved in the Ender Dragon fight and stuff, and that would have been episode three, uh, but they never got released. Um, I, I wanted to make them better. <laughs> I really wanted to make these episodes awesome. Anyway, uh, to combat that, I was going to combine them all into one episode, and then do a follow-up episode where we built our whole city. We, we changed this this village we started in into a big old city. And eventually, um, I put out that we kind of had this city, um, this server, on an old server's uh, subreddit that I used to play on. And that server kind of got disbanded after a little bit. Here, we're going to do this. Check this out. First mo mod item, a crook. This gives us saplings. Um, so I, I put, our, I put my server out there for people, um, to, to play on. I was like, you know, if you're looking for a multiplayer server, come hop on. Um, I didn't want to make this whole episode talking about this, but, uh, yeah. So some people hopped on and people really enjoyed it. And then I started playing the server a bit less. Okay. We got our sapling. Good. Um, and... I wasn't checking in on the server every couple days. It, there came to a point where I didn't check it in two weeks. And um, by this point, I had about, you know, 150 hours into this world. I mean, the, the amount of work I did on it to prepare it for the third episode of Server Adventures was insane. I really wanted to make these mob farms, make myself all geared up, work on roleplay. I really wanted roleplay to be a big part of the episodes. And I hop onto the server, kind of ready to record on my first day of that new episode. And I guess three people, um, when I checked the server logs, had found a way to give themselves uh, creative mode. Oh my god, that's a big tree. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> um, they found a way to, to give themselves creative privileges. And man, these are probably some like 12 year old punks or something. I don't know. But they they spawned TNT everywhere. They blew everything up. And I guess I didn't think of it too much before that. But I thought I thought the server was aut automatically uh, backing up files. And it wasn't. Um, the entire server was lost. To a couple of guys. It, reading the logs. They were on there for like a couple hours. Just placing TNT on all my things. And blowing it all up. Everything was legit. Survival mode. Um, this was the greatest tragedy of my gaming career. <laughs> Sounds silly, right? My gaming career. Um, but seriously, though. Uh, you know, I did I did my time. It, you know, I it was time that I enjoyed um, spending on this server. But in the end... It didn't amount to anything. It was all lost. So, you know, that was a big damper. 
a big damper on things. I, I didn't want to make any gaming videos after that. Uh, I edited some of my, like, streams together, and I've been releasing those, but, like, Minecraft, I was like, nah. Like, I'm not rebuilding a server, I'm not continuing with server adventures. I, this is kind of the last straw for me. I was pretty upset. Um, but, you know, I've been watching Etho. I've been, uh, just really enjoying his content. He, he's kind of invigorated me. I, it got me thinking, what can I do, um, that's new, that kind of, you know, you can expand on this game and uh, maybe something other people will enjoy, especially that I'll enjoy uh, playing. And wouldn't you know it, that's what you're watching right now. This is Project Ozone. So I hope that this uh, series will kind of serve as, you know, a different, different way to look at Minecraft, a, a different... What should I do here? I guess I'll build up. Um, kind of shed different light on this game and make it a very enjoyable experience for me and for you guys in the progression of the series. Who knows how long uh, the series will go on for. It'll probably die out, like, I don't know, pretty quick, probably. Because I don't have huge plans. But if it was to go on for a while and we made something big, that'd be pretty cool thing is though if you look around <laughs> there's not a lot to look at so we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some editing behind the scenes probably get out some of the grindy stuff and uh, you know keep it keep it moving kind of um, I'll need to get better at when to pick uh, kind of when I speak on things and not just ramble forever goodbye wood goodbye sapling stop it did I use my crook up on the other thing? Yeah, we got some saplings. I might just want to... I don't know. Let's build a bit of a bigger platform underneath. See, we're thinking about things. Oh, should I check the things in my my hotbar? I think so. But yeah, Open Computers gives us the manual immediately. And I don't really want it. I don't think we're going to do something with it for a long time. We'll throw it in a chest somewhere. Uh, this is our questing book. We're going to just slap it over there, and then we'll check that out last. And then here's our ability bottle. You pay experience, I think, to, as it says, take less damage from fire. So we have 405 XP points, and now we're using them up. So that's cool, I guess. And then Botania. I guess it gives you this because you start with the living roots. I'm more of a fan of the technical mods, and... Botania is a little different. It's all about mana and stuff. Uh, but we might get a bit into that. That's what that is. And then here's our questing book. Bam. That uh, looks crazy. Okay. Uh, quest lines. And then there's descriptions for things, I guess. Alpha. Yeah. Okay. So, so there's different quest lines. And then you can get a, a kind of feel for what they are. Ne Ex Nihilo. Nihil I never know how to say it. I've said Nilio before, but that is not how it's spelled. Nihilo. So that's the list of mods that kind of it gets into in this branch. And so this is where we want to start. Um, this makes you uh, make sure that you opened your quest manual. So then you can just click that and then it gives you this stuff. Oh, it gives you a sapling. Isn't that nice? In case you screw up. So there you go. And then... Uh, we want to get to the wood age. We need some more apples. Ah. Yeah. Feels good, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's our first quest ever. Ooh, we get a juicer from this. That's that's going to be our main source of food, I think. Um, but yeah, if we ever feel lost, we go right to the quest book and see what we need to make. Um, that's where I kind of started automating things. I didn't go down this branch at all, and I was spending a lot of time grinding, and then I figured out how to automate stuff with that. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just jump forward here and try to take out this big tree. hate when this happens, kind of. Oh, 
I didn't know that was there. Alright, there goes the big tree, and this is all that we got from it. I mean, we got a good bit of things there. I'm not too bad that huge tree spawned, but... Yeah, so I, I cleaned up our place here a little bit, made us a little platform. Always really important to catch the saplings and such. And now, I mean, come on, let's get into some of the mod stuff, right? We got some wood, uh, we got some dirt. We can do a lot with this dirt. Uh, you may notice I got some pebbles in my hand from accidentally doing it already. Check it out crouch and you right click you just dig up dig up little pebbles from the dirt infinite actually I mean you look in this dirt there seems to be a few pebbles but you can just keep going to your heart's content all right so we're gonna pick up these few pebbles thank you and let's make some cobblestone it's a good first step now for some reason I didn't think to make a furnace immediately last time but there we have it. And we might want to make some tools. Alright, that's about all we can do for now. But we don't super need a pickaxe. Alright, so there we go. And let's put down our furnace. Yeah, under here. There's a little staircase right now. Which will probably change, but it's here. Uh, we can make a new tree. Maybe we should block the top. It'll just save us time in the long run. Don't do that, tree. Stop. Stop growing. One more. Let's do one more. Bam. It knows not to cross those bounds. Alright. Gonna be a nice tree for me. Thank you. Uh, do we get our... We need one more apple. So, maybe the leaves are a good thing. We'll complete our first actual quest come on sorry about the random frame lags don't know why that happens give apple yes <laughs> oh man we're in the wood age baby all right so yeah uh two glass bottles that's where i got those okay and then a juicer i barely know her sir juicer is awesome for uh juice make all types of juice with it and it's way better than the normal food so you kind of always want to do it so there we go got some apple juice now uh i don't know how long this episode's gonna go by the way maybe a few more minutes but let us make kind of the best creation to ever exist and i, I don't exactly remember how to do it first of all you can make a crafting table into a crafting station which keeps the items in it which is pretty cool, but is that how you do it? No. No. How do I do it? Crafting. Crafting table on a stick. Oh, you make a sign. Right. Right. You make a sign. That's the best sign I've ever seen. Okay. There we go. <laughs> best ever. Oh, we got a new book that goes in there. Um this will stay with us for our entire life look at this bam it's a tool with a crafting table sir don't even don't even give me that you know it's the best thing ever why hasn't anybody put this in the actual game so there we go uh, crafting table on the go alright um, one more thing I want to show before we wrap this one up we got these silkworms from crooking and we're gonna infect this tree and make some string. There we go. Now it's just gonna spread. And while it's doing that, I can build a bit of a platform. Um, so this is main platform. Maybe I'll like, I'll mark it or something. The center platform. It's right here. And we can kind of branch out from here, probably. I want to make. You may have seen the other one. I really liked this setup, but. 
You know, if we were to have like, I don't know, that was terrible, right? Two, three, so two and two. If we were to have like staircases on this side and this side, I'm thinking way ahead, by the way, but, and then make like a long, long kind of path or like central line this way and this way with branching paths off the left and right for our things, uh, that'd be cool. And then like, we want some height variation. So we'll definitely think about building staircases, things like that. But for now, hey, all the leaves are infested. We're going to build off in this direction, probably into next episode. I'll have this done. Uh, but there will be a little tree farm, uh, just a strip of, whoa, strip of trees that go this way. Okay. So there will be a few dirt spaced out that way, and that will be a tree farm there. Um, but once you infest these leaves, you crook the leaves. Maybe you just break the leaves. You crook the leaves, and you get string. We got, or as they call it, silk. Do, 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 do. Claimed that. And then, look at that. I'm a genius. We got a string, bro. That's going to be awesome. So there's a lot of things that we can do from here. You know, we can we can make a backpack. That's something I'm going to want to make. And, you know, string is just good for so many things. We're on our way, you know? This is a series. I haven't even looked at you guys yet. Hi. Hi. This is me. I've got nips. Um, you know, thanks for hanging out in this first episode. Uh, it was fun for me, at least. I've tried to do episodes on this mod pack before and ended up not going through with it. So hopefully you'll see this. And uh, yeah, if you have any input on this series or other series you want to see, maybe Minecraft, maybe something else, why don't you leave them down in the description? And, uh, you know, we're just going to have a chill, good time on this series. So... Again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll be back in another one. I hope you have a good day. Stay sweet.